So Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao is schooling these young cats. And he stated that after he beats Keith Thurman, he wants Errol Spence fight next. And man, don't that put so much pressure on Keith Thurman. You got a 42-year-old fighter who's fighting a 30-year-old fighter that's on top of his game. And Keith Thurman, the younger fighter, is not even willing to state, I want to fight Errol Spence next. But you got a 42-year-old Pacquiao that's saying, I'll fight Errol Spence after I beat Keith Thurman. Now... It doesn't really matter if Manny Pacquiao is sincere or not. Because at the end of the day, at least, at least he's saying I will fight Errol Spence if I beat Keith Thurman. We can't even get Keith Thurman to say I'm willing to fight Errol Spence next. And to make matter worse, Keith Thurman came out on an interview where he stated I'm ducking Errol Spence. Errol Spence ain't mad at me because I'm ducking him. Literally, that was the words that came out of his mouth. And I made a whole video about it. Now, like I said, obviously Manny Pacquiao could have been fighting Errol Spence instead of a Keith Thurman. And Errol Spence called him out after he beat Mikey Garcia and even invited him to the post-press conference. And Manny Pacquiao... He looked like he didn't want no part of Errol Spence. And you could see why he took the Keith Thurman fight. Because obviously Keith Thurman looked vulnerable his last fight. And Errol Spence looked flawless his last fight. And it's just a no-brainer why he will pick a Keith Thurman. But for some reason, I believe Manny Pacquiao when he actually says, I will fight Errol Spence if he actually beat a Keith Thurman. Because if Manny Pacquiao at this point beats a Keith Thurman... That will give Manny Pacquiao enough confidence to get in the ring with an Errol Spence. And him knowing that Errol Spence is probably the toughest fight at the welterweight division. Why not save the best for last? And that will be a huge payday. And also we all know a piece of Manny Pacquiao will be missing in the ring that night if he fights an Errol Spence. And... Manny Pacquiao knows that because he's seen Errol Spence in action. And he also knows from Freddie Roach who stated that Errol Spence will be the one that takes over the sport and the spot of Manny Pacquiao or Floyd Mayweather once they retire. So even his own camp knows that. And maybe if he beats a Keith Thurman, he won't look Errol Spence direction. He might just retire. And, you know, will I be mad at him? You know, absolutely not. At least he fought a Keith Thurman. But at the end of the day, it's funny to me how 42-year-old Manny Pacquiao is actually mentioning Errol Spence's name. And he's saying he willing to fight him next. I mean, I don't care if he's lying or not at this point. At least he's mentioning Errol Spence and he's claiming he want to fight Errol Spence next. We will hold him accountable if he beats a Keith Thurman. Now, as far as Keith Thurman, he's talking about that fight ain't big enough yet. He's talking about Errol Spence need to build up his name some more, even though Errol Spence is the bigger name, even though Errol Spence is the number one welterweight, even though Errol Spence just packed the 47,000 arena and sold 400,000 on pay-per-view without a Manny Pacquiao. However, Keith Thurman needs a Pacquiao to be on pay-per-view or an Errol Spence. Keith Thurman also stated he ain't he not interested in Terrence Crawford, but he was interested in the former 140-pound champion, Danny Garcia. So, like I said, Keith Thurman won't do himself justice and say the right thing even one time in the media. And we all know all pressure will be on Keith Thurman, especially on the post-fight interview if he actually beats a Manny Pacquiao. They gonna be on his tail and they will ask him the tough question, will you fight Errol Spence next? And hopefully Keith Thurman won't make up an excuse and I hope Errol Spence will step in the ring and call him out face to face and put him on the spotlight. So 
like I stated, Keith Thurman, one time, he need to do himself justice just one time and just say, hey, I'm wanting to fight Errol Spence next if he actually beats Manny Pacquiao. Because at this point, it ain't no secret that right? Keith Thurman is avoiding the fight. That's old news, unless you've been living under a rock. But if Keith Thurman wants to save face and save himself some headache from all the death threats he finna receive if he actually beats a Manny Pacquiao, then he must call out Errol Spence. Then y'all already know the routine. All the Pacquiao fans finna support Errol Spence. <laughs> and, you know, and they're gonna be on Errol Spence side and you know, it's going to be a great fight and a great build-up if that fight actually happened next. And if Manny Pacquiao wins, more power to him. You know, at least, like I say, he not afraid to mention Errol Spence's name. So, like I always say, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't want to listen to these casual-ass fans. If y'all like the boxing memes, follow Lantoon Boxing for the funniest boxing memes on Instagram. Follow the brother. He putting great work and effort on his uh, Instagram and also follow me on Instagram at Aki TV and more importantly subscribe to my YouTube channel at Aki TV and to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace and we outie.